welcome back to my channel. Over the weekend I went to a barbecue and decided to film a get ready with me and the makeup I went for was a nice contour and a pop of colour on the eyes so if you'd like to see how I got this look then please keep watching. So I first started off with my base and I used the Lumi Magic Primer and the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220 and I put this all over my face and then blended it out with my beauty blender. Then I went straight onto my brows and I actually used a mixture of the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in the shades black and brown and use them to fill in my brows. And then I went straight on to setting them and once I was done with that I moved on to my concealer. So the one that I'm using here is the Maybelline Eye Eraser which is my favourite concealer and I put this in triangle shapes underneath my eyes and then highlighted the usual parts of my face. So my forehead, the bridge of my nose, around my mouth and not forgetting where under my contour would be because this will make the contour pop. And then again, I blended all of this out with my beauty blender. And once I was done with that, I set everything in place using this L'Oreal Nude Magic BB Powder in the shade Medium. And just press that all into the areas where we applied the Maybelline concealer. I wanted a pop of colour on my eyes, so I used the Master Precise Eyeliner in black and also the L'Oreal Super Liner in Turquoise, which is their new punky eyeliner. So first I just lined both of my eyes and added a little bit of a wing onto them. Now I have been doing my eyeliner in a different way recently and I'm really loving how it turns out. So once I've done that, to add a little bit of a ombre look to it, I'm simply adding a little bit of that turquoise punky eyeliner into the centre part of my eyelids and then just giving it a quick dab with my fingers to make sure it's nice and blended and has a nice gradient to it. For my mascara, I'm using my favourite mascara combo, so I'm curling my lashes first and then going in with a coat of the Lash Sensational Mascara and then thickening up and amping that look up with the Punky Mascara and then again going in with the Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational Mascara just to make sure that all of my eyelashes are nicely spread out and then I'm doing the exact same thing to the other eye. And obviously not forgetting my lower lashes as well because you guys know how much I love mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm doing that as well. Next up is onto the contour. So I'm using the Master Sculpt Contour in the medium to dark shade. It does come in two shades but I love the medium dark shade because it's got a really cool tone to it. And it also comes with a brush and a mirror which is super handy if you are travelling or anything like that. So what I like to do first is I like to carve out where my contour would be in my cheeks and then I basically pull that colour upwards and blend it in towards my hairline. And here I'm just doing the exact same thing to the other cheek as well. This brush is quite good because it actually fits into the contours of your face really well. I usually don't like brushes like this which come in contour kits and things like that but I'm actually really impressed with this one. Then I'm going and just contouring my hairline and this again just adds a little bit of shadow and not forgetting my temples as well just to make sure that everything is nice and joint up and blended together. Next up I'm just contouring my jawline so just taking that powder all the way down my kind of exactly where my jawline is and a little bit under and then also dragging that up on the sides of my jawline near my ear like you can see here. Again just to make sure that everything is joint up. Then I decided to contour my lips, so I'm just applying a little bit of the colour underneath my lip and also on my cupid's bow. And this just gives more shadow, making the lips look a lot bigger. And for contouring my nose, all I did was I ran the brush along the sides into my eyelids like you can see here. And then just making sure that I'm happy with where the placement of the colour is. And not forgetting the tip of my nose as well. Now the next step is optional but I like to go in with a contour brush just to help blend all of those lines out to make sure that it's really nice and seamlessly blended into my foundation and you can't see any sort of harsh lines anywhere. Now again this little step is also optional but I like to go in and deepen the contour where the beginning of my ear is and then I like to blend it out so it's not just like a random line on my cheeks. Next up is the highlight, so I'm taking the highlight shade and putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and also running that along my eyebrow bone as well to give that a bit of a highlight as well. Now this shade is super similar to the Kevin Aquan shade and it has a little bit of glitter in it but I don't mind it, I think it looks really pretty for the summer. Now I'm also highlighting the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin which are my usual highlighting areas. 
Then because I wasn't going to wear any blusher, I went in with a bronzer. This is the Glam Bronze bronzer in the shade 06 by L'Oreal. And I'm just running that along pretty much the same sides of my face where I contoured. But what you want to do is make a 3 on the side of your face. So I'm going to show that right now. Like you can see here, I'm going from my temples and hairline into my contour and down my chin. Now it's time for lipstick. And the lipstick I decided to use is this JLo Nude by L'Oreal. And I really liked this colour and it was perfect for a barbecue because you don't have to worry about topping a bright lipstick up. So this, you guys, is the final look. It's so super fun, fresh, with a really nice contour and a pop of colour on the eyes. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!